Hi there. Ever wondered how you can make your home into a completely net zero house? Well, uh, we've been invited by a very special guest uh, here in Church Down Gloucester uh, to show us just how you can do that. Um, so we're going to go and meet him. Hi Alistair. Hello, do come in. Whilst Alistair does uh, the tea for us, uh, so very kindly, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about, so um, Alistair's invited us here to talk to us about uh, his net zero house. Um, and I just wanted to say that this video uh, will talk all about those adaptations that you can make to your house uh, for those people that can afford these adaptations. We're also going to be doing a film uh, that includes more low cost, uh, affordable adaptations that are easy to do um, and that can help you save money and save fuel uh, and help the planet in the process. So let's have a look. The first thing is we have an induction hub, which as you can see is just an ordinary cooker with an induction hub on it. Um, why do we have an induction hub? Well, first of all, it's electric, which means that we can use the electricity coming from the roof. And at the moment, it is sunny. So sun is being condensed in the solar panels, coming through the inverter and hitting the induction hub and making the kettle pot. Why electric? Well, we used to have a gas cooker, but gas cookers are only about 40% efficient. That's because most of the heat actually goes around the thing that you're heating. Um, whereas an induction hub will put about 85 to 90 percent of the energy straight into the bottom of what you're heating, they're far more efficient. So I think we're ready to see some more changes. Um, I think there's a, a heat pump in store for this tour. Uh, yeah, there is. Now, heat pump comes in two bits. Uh, there is a shiny big white box thing on the wall up out there. Um, and then there's more interesting space age bit in the cupboard upstairs. Do follow me. So what makes your heat pump like net zero then? Right, so what I've done, because um, I've got a smart meter, I've got all the data for all the energy that I use. And um, what I've been able to work out is I can put enough solar panels on my roof that in the course of a year, I generate all the power that I need to run all the electrical devices in the house, to run the heat pump, in fact, also to run my electric vehicle. Uh, but People will point out, quite rightly, it's sunny in the summer, yes, it's a little bit not so sunny in the winter. That is very true. So what we've also done is we have invested in um, uh, a company called Ripple Energy. And what Ripple Energy do is they build a wind turbine for you somewhere windy and you own part of a wind turbine. So in the winter, it tends to be windy. So we will, be, we will be getting windy power to power our heat pump and make our, our house warm. And in the summer, we get solar power, solar power to run the heat pump to make hot water and run the EV. So that is how we have a net zero home. Uh, so we're outside now and um, I just wanted to ask you about the solar panels, Alistair. Are they still super expensive or not so much? Well, what you don't get anymore um, are any of the, um, the tariffs or the government incentives or anything, but there's a reason for that. Uh, a 400 watt solar panel now is about 200 quid, which is frankly is nothing for something that is going to be generating you large amounts of power for the next 25 yeah. plus years. Um, the, the expensive bit with solar panels is um, getting a bloke out. I had Darren, Darren came and crawled over my roof. Um, and to be honest with you, if I was crawling all over my roof, I would want to get paid reasonably well. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're, they're not free, but it is an investment for the next 25 years. And compared to paying um, current energy prices, yeah, mm -hmm. really, really cheap. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Alistair. It's been a pleasure to uh, come round and see how uh, you can make a net zero house. Um, yeah, thanks very much. Uh, Any time. Um, now, I have found, um, because I'm very open about what I've been doing, um, people do now like to ask me questions about how did you do this? How did, they, did you do that? I'm very happy to field any questions like that. And I guess that the best way to do that would be if they can contact you through yes, Gloucester Wildlife Trust. Absolutely. Track. So if you do have any questions, yeah, just get in touch with us and we'll pass them on to Alistair, who is the expo who's been doing all of this um, for a number of years. And um, also just look out on the Wild Gloss platform as well. If you haven't signed up, uh, it's a great place to take action for nature and become more sustainable. And we've got some more um, energy uh, energy saving activities on the way as well so look out for those um, but in the meantime uh, have a great day thanks